Hi there. This is an aluminum Dutch oven made by Wagnerware at some time during the 1970s to 1980s. Even though Wagner is one of the best known names in vintage cast iron, their Magnolite line of cast aluminum cookware was also produced for decades and it's well known to the members of our cast iron cooking group on Facebook. And yet, Every single time a discussion takes place on the group about Wagner's aluminum cookware, someone feels they have to comment and say the same thing. You shouldn't use aluminum cookware because it's been shown to cause Alzheimer's disease. Frankly, I'm sick and tired of hearing this on a Facebook group where we want everyone to enjoy cooking with their vintage pieces and their family heirlooms, including aluminum pans like this. And that's why I'd like to get to the point and say this. Using aluminum cookware does not cause Alzheimer's disease. Of course, trying to settle this topic with a YouTube video is ridiculous because that's what we see all the time from conspiracy theorists. I could be like the conspiracy theorists and tell you to do your research but instead of doing that, I'm going to provide some links here on this video and encourage anyone who really wants to do their research to go there as a starting point. I will say, however, that here on the internet there are far, far too many scaremongers and outright idiots who are out to make a profit by scaring you about the dangers of everything under the sun. And of course, when a site tells you how aluminum causes Alzheimer's and then goes on to tell you about aluminum causing breast cancer, aluminum causing Gulf War syndrome, and even aluminum in vaccines causing autism, and then they try to sell you their own product that happens to be aluminum free, this demonstrates that sites like this are absolutely worthless as fair and unbiased sources of information about things like Alzheimer's disease. Now, the rumor about aluminum being linked with Alzheimer's began with a small number of studies in the 1970s that initially suggested a link between aluminum ingestion and Alzheimer's disease. And in the 40 years and more since that time, there have been many follow-up studies to try to definitely confirm if this is true or not. Problem is, these studies have not been able to, to confirm any real link between aluminum and Alzheimer's disease. And this means simply that the studies from the 1970s have been discredited. Now, this is not some kind of a cover-up or anything like that. This is simply how the scientific method works as newer evidence is revealed to uh, confirm or disprove earlier studies. And in this case, it means that the earlier studies simply have been disproven. However, scaremongers and conspiracy theorists prefer to embrace those discredited studies from over 40 years ago and completely ignore the follow-up studies discrediting this theory. This is why, even in the present day, there are still rumors going around uh, that aluminum is unhealthy or dangerous. This is why I will gladly stand behind my statement that aluminum cookware is safe for cooking. But rather than trying to use a YouTube video as evidence, I'd rather do what YouTube is meant for, and that's to do some actual cooking. So let's take this evil aluminum Dutch oven and cook some food in it. My main reason for getting this aluminum pot is to use it for boiling water for making pasta or cooking rice. So let's see how easy it really is to cook rice in a Dutch oven. Using a Dutch oven to make rice is one of the easiest recipes in the world. All you need to do is add twice as much water as rice. Then cover the pot and bring the water to a boil. When the water is boiling, add in the rice. Stir the rice to completely mix it in. Then we cover the pot 
and turn the heat down to low. Now we let the rice simmer for 20 minutes. Don't uncover the pot and don't stir the rice. Just wait. And with that, our rice is ready to be served. This rice was prepared with no difficulty at all, and the rice is fluffy and not sticking. Finally, one more thing. On Facebook's Cast Iron Cooking Group, we enforce a no politics rule especially to keep subjects like this out of the group. The subject of aluminum and Alzheimer's is being argued and discussed on hundreds or even thousands of different message boards all over the internet. And it really has nothing to do with the subject of cooking in cast iron. And that's why we take pains to keep the group on topic and focused only on the subject of cast iron cooking. And that includes vintage pieces like this Wagner Dutch oven, which I'm glad to own and I'll be using many times in the future. So go ahead and cook in your kitchen without having to worry about silly scare stories of, of contracting Alzheimer's disease from your pots and pans, whether they're made of aluminum or cast iron. And above all else, have fun cooking. Thank you for watching.